All right, I can't believe it, but I have yet another trick in the software to show that, uh, in my defense though, the Arduino people didn't tell me about this either. So let me show you the problem. Uh, I am working on a software and I am trying to read and write to the EEPROM, doing it quite a bit, in fact. And I encountered this, this issue where my program locks up and I just ran out of memory uh, the other day, so I was looking to see if I had a, had a memory situation, but my free RAM is 830 bytes of the, uh, what is it, uh, 2048 bytes. So I've got plenty of free RAM. It's not a, a, a memory situation. It, it happens to be an EEPROM situation. So let me comment, uncomment out some... Um, some extra commands in here. You have to ensure that your EEPROM is ready before you attempt to read from the EEPROM, it turns out. And while you're doing your reading from the, the EEPROM and writing, um, this goes for writing as well, you need to make sure that your interrupts are disabled. Um, I found all this uh, when I encountered this issue and I, I zeroed in on the exact line that was causing my program to lock up, it was it was this line right here trying to read this block from EEPROM. And I finally found a website that uh, talked about reading and writing for, to the ATmega328 chip. And unlike pretty much every other example, the Ar Arduino library doesn't, doesn't do this, doesn't talk about it you have to always check that the EEPROM is ready before reading and writing to it. And he, he talks about a function that you can use for that. And he also talks about how you need to make sure that um, there's no interrupts that happen uh, when you're doing this. And you know he, he just read the data sheet. There happens to be this uh, EEPROM control register and they talk about how you need to wait for uh, this control register to, to basically signal that you can start using the EEPROM and make sure that no interrupts happen between steps five and six or you're going to be in trouble. So um, this she talks about it and I just wanted to show too the Arduino uh, example. This is the Arduino example EEPROM read. They just say EEPROM.read and, and some address and if you go into the um, implementation of that, they're using this EEPROM read byte, which is defined in the AVR EEPROM uh, header, which is right here, EEPROM read byte, and it's just doing some, I, I'm not sure what this means, but it, it's not uh, doing the all important EEPROM is ready beforehand. And let's see, did I upload? Yeah, I uploaded this. So. The Arduino example does not does not have this, and, but you need it, I found out. So I'll do the same thing I did before. So here's where it locked up before when I wasn't waiting for the EEPROM to be ready. I'll click here, and bam, it doesn't lock up anymore. Program's working again. So that is another trick. Uh, you need to make sure the EEPROM is ready. And what you can do, instead of using the Arduino library, if you happen to be using it, Make sure that you use AVR's EEPROM header file, and then inside of that, you can you can use their EEPROM is ready function, or they even I saw in here that they've got this EEPROM busy wait, and it just does the the while loop for you, and you can you know just wait for it to be be ready uh, with this this one little line right there. And in my my uh, situation, what did I do? Um, here, here's what I did. I actually put a e, e, e prompt begin and e prompt end as some definitions. Or and all I do is I call the e prompt busy wait, and then I disable interrupts. I uh, this means clear interrupts. So that means it just disables the interrupts. And then I've got this e, e prompt end, and that just sets it, the interrupts, sets up the interrupts. So it just re-enables the interrupts. And then in my, my program, whenever I'm going to do any e, EEPROM uh, operations, I just say EEPROM begin, then I can do my read or my write, and then I call EEPROM end. And, and when, the, when it compiles, it replaces these macros with these statements, which are in turn also just macros. Um, 
the EU prom um, busy wait uses the EU prom busy ready is ready and then it is looking for bid is clear and it's looking in this EE prom control register for this EEP bit and EEP bit is this this guy here so um, so anyways that is the trick.